Okay. Oh, have to set this up first. Sorry. This is probably killer. Okay. Oh, why is that? No. Oh, update titles. Taking a graphite play button. Update. Oh, it's still working? Okay. Yo, yo, what is up? Hey, hold on. Sorry, I don't have everything set up right yet. Ah, thought I did. I'm dealing with a lot of troubleshooting right now. Okay, so this should. Let me see chat. Okay. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, why won't, why can't I change the size of this? There we go. Hey, Balter, what is up? And then this should just be free stream. Okay, should be good now. There we go. You sent me some music? Awesome, I'll have to check it out. Okay. This is so, cause I have the hot glue. Got that plugged in. Uh, oh, I need to set up the hot glue gun and get that going. So how's how's it going? Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Okay, that can sit right there. Okay, so my plan my plan Oh yeah, you can hear me and everything, that's good. That going, got that going. Machine's working, YouTube's working. You're doing good? Awesome, glad to hear it. Um, I need scissors, son of a dingus. Okay, I'll be back, one second. Hold on, I know where a pair of scissors is. Okay. So, my plan is use this, cut this out, and then take these pencils, this graphite. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shave off all the yellow, all the yellow on uh, probably three of their sides, and then line them up along this, super glue them, let it dry, and then, this is some of the only paint I have, I have my model paint, I'll take this, and then I'll paint in play button, probably with the red and the white, on top of it in the middle, and, uh, we'll have ourselves a little, uh, Graphite play button to hang on the wall to celebrate a uh, hundred subs. I think that'll be super fun. So, uh, yeah. Let's get to snipping. So I know this won't be the prettiest thing in the world, but 
I think it's kind of cheeky and cute. And it's about time I, I do something. I've been talking about this forever. Let's see. Okay. So there's this. Let's kind of clear up this a little bit. I think it's pretty good, right? Simple. Let's see. So if we take a bunch of these and just Oh my gosh, am I going to use all of them? Okay, most of them. Do this. No, you're good. You're good. And then I line these up. Oh, I can smell the hot glue gun. It's ready. That right there and ready. So something kind of like that. And then just shave off all the yellow and just paint them. I think that'll be pretty good. Uh, so first, move all this stuff. The hot glue gun. That's ready to go. Um, I guess I just start shaving the the white, the yellow off. Uh, I have no idea how long this is going to take. So I'm just going to hang out and chat. I even have a drink already. So I'm down to chat about whatever while I sit here for a while and shave these pencils. Think. Let's see, how's this gonna work? This idea as good as I hope I might. I don't know, we'll see. Let's try with this first one. See how bad of an idea this is. Let's try. I have an exacto knife and scissors, so let's see. Oh, this works pretty good. I can't get all the yellow off. It's not really gonna be too bad. This is gonna take a while. <laughs> I'm curious as to what you're making. I'm making a graphite play button. So um, it's not an official YouTube button. Like they don't give you anything. Um, but if you Google like play buttons there's a list of them and at 100 there's a quote-unquote graphite play button so i thought it'd be fun to like make myself one for hitting like a hundred uh 100 subs on youtube so yeah pencil and button hell yeah right it's been like i've been talking about this for a while so it's finally time to get it going uh okay question is it good to mix song Parts with mixing processors, vocal mixing processors. Uh, what do you mean? Like, okay, question. Is it good to mix song parts with mixing pro with DIY to the day we die? Hell yeah. Um, Walter, I'm not sure what you're, what you mean by that. Like using vocal processing stuff on non-vocal stuff. I mean, if it sounds good, right? <laughs> I'm of the mind like, just use, 
Use some stuff, play around, you might find something that sounds cool. Okay, this... Yeah, this isn't too bad. So it's just like a coating? I'm not, I'm not sure what this... The outside of the yellow of a pencil is made of. Comes off easy enough. I'm thinking I can get this one all shaped down and then glue it on there and we'll see what we're working with. I hope this isn't like crazy, <laughs> crazy loud and irritating on the microphone. I'm like two feet away from it. Uh, yeah, I tried it and it sounds good from what I tried. Nice. And hell yeah. Okay, almost. Come on. So, there are a bunch of uh, games and movies that Mary has never seen. Um, but la <laughs> last night, we watched Ghost Rider. I don't know if you guys have watched Ghost Rider in a long time, like the 2009, like, Nicolas Cage movie Ghost Rider, the Marvel <laughs> Ghost Rider. It's not a good movie, like, it's not written very well. The dialogue sucks and the plot is kind of shitty. <laughs> but, boy, is it fun. I don't know if, like, you guys have movies that you, that are, like, objectively not good but you enjoy watching just because they're fun. Like, I had a good time watching Ghost Rider. Uh, it... Oh, Peppercorn, what's wrong? Hold on. Wanna come hang out? Yeah? Careful, I'm doing stuff. Yeah? What am I doing? What is all this? Can you... Oh, don't touch that. No, that's hot. You gotta stay away from that. I know. Oh. Caps, no. I think it's best that you maybe not go over there. I'm listening to Mantis. No. <laughs> nice. Um, what are some songs by Mantis? I don't, can't remember. Okay, so got that, got that. I think I just need to get I don't think this is going to be the smoothest thing ever. But I keep the name down, I don't have to worry about shaving that off. But I have those sides done. So I guess just put some hot glue here and then uh, press it onto this. I didn't do a very even job of cutting this. Bring mommy's home. Go look. Go and spec. Okay. I think let's try this. That's nice and hot. Red. Like this. Like high temp stuff, so it should. Won't dry as quick. 
Yes. <laughs> All right. That's, that's pretty good. I think that's pretty cool. Right, hold on, let me close my door again real quick. Cat is insufferable sometimes. <laughs> Does this sound really dumb that you ever make desktop bases with massive? Uh, I think so. I mean, a synth is a synth is a synth. Um, but I haven't used massive in a long time. Ever since I got serum, I kind of just used that. But yeah, it can definitely be done with uh, massive. Missed a tiny, tiny bit there. I'm not too beat up about it. All right, so we're gonna need like a lot of these. <laughs> so here we go. But I can get away with just doing the three sides, so that's cool. Scratch this paint off. Uh, da, 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 da. Anybody been playing any fun games? I've been playing a ton of Final Fantasy XIV. I just got my way into uh, Heaven's Word and unlocked Dark Knight. Did like three raids over the last two days. It was awesome. Uh, recently finally got it working on my laptop. Oh, nice. Hell yeah. All my roommates are playing Guild Wars because we're all getting ready for the expansion. Which, who knows when that'll come out. I'm going to be covered in yellow. I think we have a hand vacuum somewhere. Okay. In a couple spots. Uh, Snowboard Party 2, that's been my go-to game this year. It's an iPhone app game. Oh, nice. Like a snowboard, kind of like a, I mean, the only snowboard game I ever played was for the N64, but I know of like SS Tricky. It's like a, I'm guessing like a snowboard stunt kind of game. So the question is, do I just shave down a bunch of them or do I just do one at a time? Okay. I think this one's good. I think a tricky part will be making sure that they all line up the same. Yep. Uh, my all-time fave is Amped for Xbox. Amped? I don't know what the game is. I don't play a lot of Xbox. I played. A, my cousin had one, like back when, like 
Halo was a, you know popular, like Halo Three and stuff. That's what we played. A lot of Halo Three, a lot of custom games. Oh, and I also played. Uh, I had an Xbox for a little bit, actually. Played Fable. Played a lot of Fable. Mostly just the first one. My cousins played the second and third one. I never played any of those. Yeah, man, I'm trying to remember what the snowboarding game... Oh, it's a snowboarding game? I'm trying to remember what the one for the N64 was. You were a bunch of little kids, and it was like Mario Kart, but with snowboards. You, like, had items, and you went down, you raced, and... Yeah. That game was fun. Oh, should I put on, like, some music for the stream? I don't have, uh, I don't want to just play, like, my, like, what, eight songs I have on Spotify, but I think there is, I'll have to find it. Maybe I'll take a break in a little bit and find it. There's a, uh, Alpha Gaming, I think he has a playlist of, like, stream-appropriate music that he put together, a bunch of different genres. This is this is like for anyone this is this is what it's gonna be for like an hour. I don't know what to do about all the all these little like baby bits that are sticking up. I wonder if I should just more those. Probably. I'm not gonna get this like super smooth. Have you tried out any of the free plugins I mentioned in the last stream, like Alter Ego or Splash Pro? Alter Ego, I think I tried. Splash, I haven't. But I, it's okay, I don't really need to use them. Play mine? I could do that a little bit, maybe. Look at my stuff on YouTube if you want heavy stuff. My channel, Righteous Intent, has a ton of it. Oh, you have a, you have a YouTube channel? I didn't know that. I don't know. I need to find like a good like I want to find a good Spotify playlist or something like something that I can use on all my streams. Thanks for the offer though. I didn't know you had like you had stuff on YouTube. Is it like a a promo channel or something? Ah, my thumb.
have like four. No, just music that I uploaded of mine. Oh. My official one is just Falter. Do you have, I mean, do you have all your, your Falter music on that YouTube, on your Falter YouTube? It's actually really like therapeutic and like calming. <laughs> I do. Nice. How perfectionist of this should I be? Should I, do I even care to make sure that I get all of it off? I don't know that I do. Okay, I'll do two more and then I'll start hot gluing these down. Okay, yeah, that's all good still. I don't have a, I don't have a lot more, or I don't have a lot more will be uploaded soon. I have archives upon archives of stuff. Yeah? Nice. Yeah, I need to get, I need, what have I, I have like, I have a hard bass song that, like half of one. It's just like a fun little idea. I'm gonna make a visualizer for and pop it up and then uh just need some more music. I need to sit down and just like start making some stuff. I don't slice my thumb open at any point. That would suck. This is all coming off pretty easily. That looks pretty good. I mean, if it's if it's a little rough around the edges and I miss some of the yellow, I guess that makes it a bit more like 
DIY. A bit more messy and interesting, I guess. Eh. There's a ton of stuff on just flash drives, lol. Well, yeah, I feel that. I have a bunch of like projects and stuff I need to buy a external hard drive for and just like move it all onto there. Because for one, I don't have backups of anything, which is really bad. And two, like my laptop's just gonna fill up. <laughs> I know I have what two heart two terabytes in there, but like that's I still I should be moving stuff off of there. Uh, there's a total of like, I want to say maybe 12 or 13. That's enough for now. <laughs> yeah, that's a lot of thumb drives. I think I'm going to get like a, what was I looking at? Eight terabyte backup drive, like a couple of those. I think it'll be a couple hundred bucks. Mini flash drives. Yeah. I have, I have a couple flash drives laying around. I think I have a flash drive. The one that's on my keys, I think I still have from like college. There's like old audio projects on there from college. I could probably clear that up and maybe use that. For what? I don't know because I don't really go anywhere. <laughs> So something I'm meaning to get into this year uh, to do for streams and stuff is uh, learn to DJ. Well, the, I have a controller. I've just I've used it like once, but I will be figuring that out so that I can do uh, shows and stuff on uh, stream days. And I want to figure out, I'll be getting a green screen and throwing that up so I can do graphics and stuff behind. Um, yeah, so this year I'll definitely be, definitely be uh, uh, doing that. I think that'll be fun. I don't know about like Twitch and YouTube's policy though with like doing mixes. I don't know, I need to look into all that kind of stuff. Walmart has got them for like 20 or something, meaning terabyte drives. Oh, is there, there's a Walmart near here. Yes. I do have a Walmart near me. I have CDs and vinyl DJ equipment. Nice. I just have, mine's just like a controller, so I don't actually have any like CDs or anything that'll work on it. I think it just works, it works just with like software stuff, which means I need to start like, looking for music to play i need to start i have some but i haven't like i don't i know like nothing about djing or it goes into like sets and stuff like that so that'll be fun to learn though and if uh 
whenever stuff starts opening again, um, after I learned to DJ, because he's offered it before, but my buddy Joe, who runs like an esports podcast called The Summoning Hour, which everybody should go like go check out if you like esports at all. Go check out The Summoning Hour podcast. It's fantastic. Um, he was doing like weekly tournament stuff and he offered like I could DJ those events but I don't know how to play shows so I gotta do that and then I'll uh we will have somewhere to play some music at Alright, let's get some of these hot wood. Do something different here for a minute. I'm gonna burn myself at least once too, so I can feel it. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, okay. It's just gonna be a little wonky. <laughs> it's just, I'm gonna have to just get used to that. It's, it's just gonna be a little wonky. I own the Newmark turntables, Chord Chaos Mixer, and Newmark NDX 400 CDJs. Nice. New marks and Netties cost me altogether 700 bucks. That's not bad. 700 bucks for some like mixing equipment. That's not bad at all. I'd be willing to drop that much. Once I actually learn, of course. I think I dropped like 50 bucks for my little controller. Just fine for all I need right now. He's still hands like three. Goodness. Okay, so warping anything? No? Pretty good so far. Nice, okay. Awesome. This is the last one, and I'm just back to shaving a bunch down. We got strings, hot glue strings. Okay. Okay. Sit there, let that kind of cool down. Come back there. 
I'm back to shaving all these pencils down. <clears throat> Uh, if you want my honest answer about DJing and the easiest style to mix starting out as trance is probably the best to start with because it's only four on the floor drum kicks. That makes sense. Yeah, and I've definitely been getting into like more dancier stuff with like rat trauma. So it'd be fun to check all that stuff out. I really like. Okay, I at least really like making like Psytrance, like I did for that section, some of the sections in uh, Infestation. Like, that was really fun. Realize I do enjoy a good four on the floor. Okay, I wonder if I just, if I'm being too gentle, if I can just like scrape this off faster? If I'm not just, if I'm not so delicate with the pencils? I just don't want any of them to break because I have a very limited number. I don't want to have to wait. We have more. Let's see. See if I. Hold it a little more where I'm like cut it or shaving it off. Let's see. Hey Thresher, what's up? Uh, I mean, that's what I made for years. Meaning trance. You made trance? Nice. Yeah, Falter and I are just hanging out. Um, Thresher, I'm making a uh. I hit like a hundred subs like six months back before I stopped, you know, making content for like six months. Um, and I had the idea of making a graphite play button because if you Google play buttons, there's like one for like a hundred subs, but you don't actually get anything, but it's called the graphite play button. So I bought a bunch of pencils at graphite <laughs> and I'm shaving off some of the, all the yellow on one side. And then I'm going to, I'm lining them up. Uh, putting on this piece of piece of cardboard, and then I'm gonna paint a play button on the front of it, and be like, and then hang it on the wall. It's be like, hey, it's my my first play button. Because <laughs> I think that's fun. Other than that, we're just hanging out, chatting, because this is taking a while. I mean, I expected it to take some time, but I don't know. Just chatting about music, 
games. Talk about DJing, because I... <laughs> nice, I love it. Oh, good, I'm glad. Um... Just chatting about stuff to pass the time. How are you doing? Good video this week, as always. Love it. I'm really glad I found your channel. You're a cool dude. And on streams, I tell everybody to go watch your stuff. I don't know if they do, but, you know. Yeah, let's see if I can do this just faster. This is a lot of pencils to get through. I have to be doing this like the slow way. I think it's just it's just like a thin layer of paint. Oh jeez. Trans to me is just the most easiest style of dance music to make. Yeah? I mean, that's a little insulting to trance makers, right? <laughs> I mean, any style can be easy. One, if you know what you're doing, and... But, I get what you mean. Because it can. It can just be just four on the floor with a, a single bass note over it, but it doesn't have to be. But also, like you said, you've been making it forever, so. I'm just doing none of this on camera, am I? Okay. Go, there we go. All right, let's see if I can do this much faster. Let's just... Let's go. Hello, my name's Dylan, and welcome to the pencil paint shaving speed run. Let's go. Can't argue with that. So I was talking to Roonstrike the other day. I think Fridays, so once I actually get some more money coming in, um, I'm going to save up and uh, buy Little Nightmares 1 and 2. Because 2 came out. Ruby and I played that the other day on stream, on her stream. And I love that game. So I want to go. I've never actually played the first Little Nightmares. But what I'm going to do is get Little Nightmares 1 and 2. And then Fridays... I'm going to dedicate to 100% completing both Little Nightmares 1 and Little Nightmares 2. Get all the achievements, all the secrets, everything. And then figure out how to stream from my phone or like get my phone into OBS. Because then I can play very little nightmares. Which apparently is a phone game from within the Little Nightmares universe that's canon, so I'll have to play that.
Uh, I recently started making music with Mixcraft. It's a DAW, what they call... Oh, what the musicians? What the... Oh, I can't read, holy crap. What the... They musicians dot what? Yeah, it's a DAW. It's probably the most versatile DAW, and it's only like seventy nine dollars for it on Acoustica dot com. What's Acoustica dot com? <clears throat> nice. I got back into using FL Studio because I don't want to pay for Ableton every year, <laughs> like. 800 bucks. And I already have like the top FL Studio one for second to top. I have everything I need. So lifetime updates. Yeah, I decided to go back to that. Ableton is the devil. <laughs> That's funny. I really liked a lot of like Ableton's workflow and search function. I'm surprised that like the one thing I miss the most is like Ableton's search function. <laughs> I got there's got to be a different way to like search for samples and folders in FL Studio. I have to be just like not doing it right. Okay, what are we like a third of the way there? Ah! All right, there's the first injury. <laughs> I poked myself with the sharp end of the pencil. Ow! I don't think I broke skin. We're good. Oh, I can't. I'm losing track of what sides what. Hold on. Okay. Okay, this one's going better. Ah! 
Hey, Ruby. For Bitwig over Ableton, it's only a hundred bucks or something. I haven't looked into Bitwig at all. I know a couple people use it though. Hi, Ruby. How you doing? How's art going? How's your potential commission or whatever? Oh, the, the doll is online? What do you mean online? And it's simple to use? Oh, I took a break after you left? Oh, after I came back up here? Yeah, what time is it? Hmm. Yeah, now you're starting up again. Nice. Are you trying to get it done to like send it off to them today? Like how much work do you plan on putting into it? You know, I probably should have just bought a box of, like, wood pencils. <laughs> no, then it's not as DIY, is it? Oh, you can only buy it online? Uh, I like the line work. I need to be done and then tomorrow I'll color a bit. I would have saved you a lot of time though. This is true. This is true. It would have saved me a lot of time and a lot of mess. Then I wouldn't have such a long time to sit and talk with you wonderful people. I don't know. Hindsight's 2020. Ha! <laughs> Acoustica made a year or two back a only electronic dance music synth called Nightlife, and it's free on their website. Nice. What is it? Is it like a wavetable synth, or what kind of synthesis? I'm afraid of like breaking off the graphite of any of these pencils.
It's a great synth. I made an Alan Walker like beat with it. EDM, trans dubstep, you name it. It's on there. It's crazy. It's free. Oh, I mean, um, not like what it's used for. Like you can use a synth for any kind of genre. I was just wondering if it like is like a wavetable synth, like Serum, or if it's a, a Serum or Massive, or if it's an FM synth. Trans, sorry about that. No worries. Yeah, I can read it. It's so good. We're almost, almost, almost halfway done with pencils. Well, that's exciting. This is simple synthesis, nothing too complex, but the presets are fantastic on their own. Nice. Speaking of presets, I need to make a, a sample pack. I need to actually sit down and do it. People have asked for it. I said I would do it. Still haven't done it yet. I think I want to make one with like some vital presets because I know everybody's like big into that right now. That and Serum probably. And then uh, some just some samples thrown in there. Not thrown in there, but you know. Put in there. Then you could also use the samples for like wavetables for like serum and stuff. That's handy. And how do you get a sample pack on a uh, on splice? Let me do that. Is that something I can do? Uh. Da, 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 da. Personally, I don't think there's anything like nightlife out there. Yeah, you think it's unique like that? Nice. Hey man, use what you like. I need to eventually save up for something like uh Omnisphere. I need like more organic, like actually real sounding instruments. Because I have presets for like choirs and stuff, but just don't sound good enough. They don't sound real enough. And they're not very like, uh, can't get like choirs and stuff to sound real or do different uh vowels and stuff i guess i 
just need sound banks with more options. Omnisphere or contact libraries, stuff like that. Especially for some of like Azada's stuff, he uses more like choirs and stuff, but like I need stuff that just sounds good. Yeah, about halfway, okay. So two more pencils and then we'll uh not glue these ones down. Missed the spot. <laughs> Get out of here, Ruby. No bother that I actually did miss a spot back. <laughs> A uh, great synth that I recently found is Unify, I think for 80 bucks. For the price, the presets alone are phenomenal. Nice. That is awesome. I'm glad you're finding the stuff you like. Okay. One more? One more. I'm going to take a break.
But the best desktop minatory atmosphere synth only 20 bucks online is Horror Box. Ooh, that sounds cool. Plus, it's great for Halloween. I bought it and I still use it. Nice. That's something I should also make for more atmospheres. I think it's time for a sound design session soon. Get down and make a bunch of stuff. Not folk, not worry about writing any music, but just like making sounds. Both for Azada and for Rat Trauma. Yeah, that's all stream next Saturday, huh? Bolster my personal little sound library. Also make some effects and stuff that I've never actually made yet, like impacts and things like that. I don't ever actually make those. I should do that. Good practice. Na -na -na. You guys can't see anything I'm doing. Son of a dingus. If you're looking for a simple way to make heavy metal guitar, DVS guitar is free. The amp, I like to use it, for, uh, uses amplification light. Those can be found on VST for free. Nice. Guitar, DVS, all right. I don't think I have a use for a guitar yet. I also have a guitar somewhere. Though I haven't played like guitar or anything in a long time. Oh, wow, that's a lot of pencils. Okay. Yeah, let's get somebody's put down. All right, ready now. Don't chuck stuff around. And some Arch Enemy covers with it? Nice. Well, that's a band I haven't listened to in a while. Woo, uh oh. Here we go. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right.
Oh no! You have to side on that one. Mmm. Whatever, I don't care. Put it in there. I don't fix it or worry about it. I missed a yellow. That's okay. That is okay. We're just gonna keep keep going. It's starting to like sway in a little bit. Huh. It'll be fine. I can upload the game if you want to hear them. I mean, if you want to send them to me, that's fine. Do you think Tengrafts is losing his edge as far as desktop goes? Because personally, I thought his best was Spider with Figure. Well, so that's Spider, so there's that. Such a Spider nerd. No, I don't think he's losing his edge. I think he's making music that he wants. I mean, making heavy, scary music, which is what desktop is. So, no, I don't think he's losing his edge. You can like his stuff and... If you're not so keen on his new stuff, that's fine. But no, I don't think he's losing his edge. <laughs> it's art. Artists just like evolve and change and don't always make the same thing. That is totally okay. Oh, shoot. <laughs> They're slowly like going down. Ah, whatever. Hey, gotta go. All right, cool. Thanks for thanks for hanging out. I appreciate the chat while I <laughs> shave pencils. <laughs> Have a good day. You want to chat on Discord later? I'm game. Um, I might be down later, or I might be on Discord later. I'll probably be back playing Final Fantasy later today. Um, send me a DM. Always down to chat. Um. I need to take a quick break. We're almost done with the pencils, which is great. This is a mess. Um, and then maybe find some music uh, to play.
So we'll go be right back. We will play this and then I'll be back. dare trespass onto my grounds? Do you know where you are? How foolish. You choose to come here at night. You soon will understand the fear. That's right, I was going to. Uh, put on stuff. 
Muted. Yeah, whatever, I'll just keep playing the stuff in the background. <laughs> Let's have that playing in the background. <clears throat> I'll find some other like playlist of music stuff later. I'm not gonna deal with that. But good to know for the future. I should have maybe <laughs> maybe thought about that. All right, let's go. A couple more. A lot more. I need to start keeping a list um, just on my phone of like song ideas, titles, and stuff like that. Um, I can come up with more song ideas that I can do like voiceover and stuff in. Cause I had so much fun. I would be so happy when this EP can come out. Like I'm so excited to like share that music with everybody after the competition. I have a lot of voice acting from me on there, stuff from all my friends. That EP means a lot. I'm very excited for it. I want to do more stuff like that. Just felt like super genuine, you know? And what's fun with rap trauma is like I can do kind of whatever. This character kind of just zips around and causes a bunch of chaos everywhere. So I can kind of explore any kind of like story, whatever I want. And with Zada, I have the whole Baylands and the whole Zadaverse, so. I mean, there's still a lot there, and I should 
Definitely explore that some more. I should do that. I have a song dealing with like the hunters. I should go do that. That has some voice acting in it. That'll be a good one. Um, and then like a night mother, the forest kids. Oh, there's a ad with like the children of the forest. I want to do. An EP dealing with like space and like the gods and stuff in the Feylands. Or kind of like all the big kind of entities and stuff in the world. Bridget's Face Shop. Every cake is one of a kind. I'm the Hartford Buck, and I believe Bridget's Face Shop is too. With insurance designed for your small business, the Buck's got your back. I have a video I also need to spend some time editing today. I have recorded, because I haven't done like an actual, like, you, like a video in a while, so I just wanted to do something. I didn't quite know what kind of stuff to make. So I just recorded myself kind of working on some stuff this week and just talking and we'll see how that turns out in editing. So I'm not sure. I don't want to do <clears throat> I just challenge stuff all the time. And just a way to ease back into making content would probably be just like, or me making stuff. Kind of like, live stream except cut into like, you know, a digestible 10 minute video. Just hanging out making music. I think it's the goal. Because that's the easiest and like most comfortable kind of thing for me. I can feel myself getting impatient after doing all these. Calm down. Go we'll get it done. I haven't sat down and like done a craft or anything in a long time either. This is really fun. If you 
step into his world with his mind, he will see it quickly change into a beautiful, exciting world of fantasy. I hope I'm not throwing these out or ruining these scissors. <laughs> well, these scissors are cheap. Something I gotta do in the future. I'm working on my business plan and I need to actually talk to like a lawyer and uh, like an accountant for like business stuff. That's interesting. Uh, I have like the contact info of somebody. Like I hit him up. Just gotta save up money for a consultation and uh, get my like list of questions together. Uh, yeah, I've never had, like, I don't really know anything about the business side of, like, getting music stuff done, so it'd be nice to just go to somebody who knows, like, all the laws and who can, like, set me up, I can talk to, like, once a year, uh, get all my questions answered and stuff like that, like, we get it. I also gotta figure out what kind of uh, bank I should use. That'll be interesting. I don't know, I just I know so little about what I, what I need for like to make this into like a business. Like so, like nobody talks about like the business side really, of like art at all. Like, it's easy to find stuff on like marketing, and like nice, good quality videos on like marketing for art. But like, I don't know. I haven't seen a lot of stuff on like the business side of anything. I'm surprised that's not like a more forefront thing in like people's like minds and stuff. For like wanting to do art and things like full time.
Okay, I need about eight more. I think that's about all the pencils. Okay. Well, see if I can just knock these out a little faster. Slow it down a little bit. My arm is gonna be so tired of this. I can already feel like my shoulder muscles burning. Glad I didn't decide to do the whole pencil. Maybe I should pay for Spotify without ads on these days. Probably be a good idea if I'm going to use it for music and stuff. Alexa, resume the show. Resuming. What is that? That's the Amy that eats hot cake. I don't make the best pizza. The biggest strength of black women Join MasterCard in supporting small businesses and start something priceless. Suddenly, you feel a sense of total freedom. The streets belong to you, the runners.
Ah, all right. A game that Ruby got recently that we played, that I played once before, is uh, Villainous. I'm very excited to be playing more of that. Ruby's gonna get her butt kicked once I figure out, once I learn how to play. Fun game. Being Disney villains. Everybody's got their own mechanics. Like, such a cool game. Oh, I reached a hundred messages today with restream chat. Oh, that's cool. Gave me a, <laughs> gave me a little like trophy or whatever. That's fun. That's cute. <laughs> And then I can cut off the other one. Okay. These. And that leaves two extras. Alright. So, nearing the end. We're getting there. We are getting there. Oh, I messed up my thing here. There we go. Oh, I've totally been missing messages because my thing's been. Covering. I am sorry, Falter. I'm back. Hey, how do you dinner? No worries. You ever attempt to make a neurofunk drum and bass? Any neurofunk drum and bass? No, but I have tried to make. I don't exactly know what neurofunk drum and bass is, but I have tried to make drum and bass before, and uh, it's fun. <laughs> I need to work on my um. Uh, last time I had my lesson with 10 graphs, he told me that I needed to work on my like groove and stuff. So like that's actually part of my homework is to like go back and listen to a bunch of drum and bass and then like learn grooves and stuff and like what makes a groove groovy. So yeah. I guess what I'm working on now is uh, drum patterns, like what makes a good drum pattern. Are you still around? Yeah. There you are. Sorry, I missed your message. I didn't know if you were still around. Uh, yeah, Tangraph song, Crack and Fall. That was interesting. Yeah, it's super cool. I liked the, the second half when he did, like, what would you call that? Like, hardcore or something like that? Which, speaking of, apparently hardcore is, like, starting to rise up and get a little scene. Well, I, guess, I don't know. It's un getting a scene. Like with little Texas and stuff like that. Um, I don't ever really listen to it a lot, but that's like super cool. It's like just noisy and loud and fast. Like I'm here for it, <laughs> you know?
Oh yeah, did you see that he uh, he did a video for it too? Up on his YouTube. It's okay. But it's cool that he did a video for it. I tried to do a video for for the bop. I think one day I should just try it again. Try shooting that video again. I, tr I tried shooting one where I did like a bunch of little dances and I was gonna cut it up and then put it on like have the bop pretty much just the bop play and then just cut in between me doing like some dances doing a bunch of stuff um, or in a different bunch of locations. It was just kind of like cringe at first. But I think that's just because I got, like, uh, I got anxious in front of the camera. So I think if I like, calm down and, like, try again, I might be able to actually make a video for that that's not cringy. <laughs> because it's a really fun idea I have for it, and it'd make a really fun video. I should give it another try. And even if it turns out cringy, like, that's okay. As long as I have fun doing it, I think it'll come across as, like, genuine. I don't know. I'm dancing in it. I'm not very good at dancing. <laughs> in my opinion. Though I've never actually tried, so. What do I expect? Yeah, you know, hardcore techno, for example, like Anger Fist is pretty crazy. I've heard of Anger Fist before. It's been a while since I heard that name. Oh, I'm gonna sneeze. There's dust everywhere. Ah, <coughs> oh, excuse me. Surprised I'm just now sneezing. It's probably safe to say Code Pandorum is the king of death step music videos right now. I've never actually seen... Does he have music videos out? I... Like, I've seen... Okay, I've seen his, uh, like, visualizer kind of things. And the one he did with, uh... Oh, what's that rapper's name? Volgatron? That was cool. I liked that one. I think I watched the premiere of that one. A lot of flashing. See, that's the one thing I gotta, I gotta think about, and I want to try to avoid is like, in like, EDM and stuff. There's a lot of like flashing lights. Art of the devil. Yeah. I want to avoid like flashing lights because I want, I don't want to like ever trigger like somebody with like epilepsy. <laughs> you know. I liked Art of the Devil a lot. I don't know if I've seen, if there's a music video for that one, I don't think I've seen it. Wait. Yes, I have. That's the one with, like, the ritual and stuff. Going on or whatever. I have seen that one. I like that song. That's a good, that's a fun song. Just fog. <laughs> That'd be pretty funny. Just a video full of just fog. How could you make that actual funny video? Hmm. Oh gosh, am I getting tired? I'm so close. I have at least four left. Come on.
And then I just hot glue and paint and I'm done. What is, what is going on right now? Come on, pencil. Looking for a job? The most trusted and largest product repair service provider is hiring service techs now. Yes, now. Wow, I must be getting tired because, like, I'm having trouble with these last ones. New technicians, unmatched ongoing training, specialized tools, and support. That's eight weeks of on the job training so you can grow and expand your expertise. If you're handy, apply today at SeriousTechJobs.com. Focus up and just get these done. Those laser lights from Big Lot during Christmas time that don't flash. Yeah, speaking of lights, I need to get some. I want to get some lighting for this room. I need to clean it up, but I want to get some like LEDs for behind the desk. I want to get some big tapestries to hang out on like the ceiling and stuff. Kind of like, um, just add some stuff and some vibes, dude. You know. Put, hang up some art and stuff in here that really inspires me. There we go, just to clean up the end of that. Come on, Dylan. Don't let these pencils break you. Ah! One word, oh, hold on. Uh, and those laser lights, they don't flash. One word, five below. I bought. One word, five below. I bought some there. Isn't that, is that a store? My cat is getting up on the table and I'm having to remove her every freaking time. <laughs> Dead mouse problems. <laughs> Does Denmas have a cat? Yeah, Denmas has a cat. He like talks about it's like on one of his EPs and stuff. <laughs> That's funny. Is there just losing its edge? Is that what's going on? Have I just destroyed these? That sounds funny. It sounds like Waka Waka. Mr. Meowingtons, yeah. Nyan cat? He actually named a cat Nyan.
of this section right here. This one will be done. Gosh, have I been shaving pencils for like two hours? Holy crap. <laughs> I wonder what the next milestone is. It'd be fun to just like make my own play buttons at every milestone. <laughs> oh, what am I doing with my life doing things? Yep, essentially. You know, if before I started this, if anyone asked me, Hey, how long do you think it's gonna actually get the, or how long do you think it's gonna take to get that project done? I would not have told you two hours. That's for sure. That's okay. Oh, you really have anything else to do today. Oh, there's nothing planned. Yeah, all right. Oh, here we go. We're so close. It really is like the end of these that take the longest. Because I don't want to break the graphite tip or anything like that. All right, two left. Two left. We're down to the last two. Uh, ladder for later in Cartoon World. Ed and Nettie is thinking one thing, butter toast. Oh, Ed from Ed and Nettie is thinking one thing, butter toast. That's a show that I loved as a kid. Sorry, that's one of my favorite shows. It's all good. Like, I, I really liked that show. Watched a lot of it growing up. That was one of the cartoons that, like, my dad actually liked. He liked Ed and Eddie and Spongebob. So we watched a lot of that. I liked Ed and Eddie.
Almost just broke it. Okay, here we go. Settle down. And the last two, let's not screw them up now. Am I okay? I'm okay. <laughs> We're good. No loss of limbs here. That would be my luck. Get down to... Get down to the last one or two and I end up like cutting my hand open. Still watch it? Yeah. Nice. I just haven't seen it in a while. Not that I wouldn't watch it. I remember when it premiered on Cartoon Network. Like, I was young and I had to go to bed. Like, the exactly when it was premiering. So my dad got to stay up and watch it. So I remember going to bed and it was on the TV. And I was super bummed that I didn't get to stay up and watch it. First time it ever showed up on Garden Network. Oh, that's funny. That's an old memory. I don't know how well you guys can see any of this. But the last pencil. This part is almost done. Here we go. But in fact, there's a site where you can clone any voice, even SpongeBob's, and type in whatever you want and download them and bounce them into your DAW. If I used Arnold's and SpongeBob's and Mr. Krabs, that's funny. I wonder how that AI works. Be able to get like any voice like that. All right, all right, here we go. All right. So let's get this over here.
I think I actually reach that. Oh yeah, here we go. Okay, I can clean this up a little bit. Just need to be careful. I don't want to break anything. Sorry, this is going to sound awful for just a minute. Shoot, who am I kidding? This whole stream's probably sounded awful. Okay, I think that's as good as I'm gonna get it. Bad boys. So warm, awesome. These bad boys all glued down. Oh, I need another stick. Glue them. Come on. Oh, that's hot on my fingers. There's my first glue gun. Touching the hot glue. I went a long while without touching the hot glue. Oh, shoot. I need to be doing this on this, though. I don't want to burn the mat. I'll glue these and then whatever extra is hanging off the edge, I'll just cut it. I'm not going to shave any more pencils. Ooh, that. Got glue all over the end of it. How do I get glue on the end of these ones? Ah, whatever. Oh, come on. Yeah. I use Tupac's voice for a hip hop song. If you're into cool, unusual synths, check out from Ref Reflect. Reflect audio called Tabletop. It's literally table beat sounds, basically hip hop beat sounds kids would make with their hands. Oh, that's cool. So it's a bunch of like samples of like hitting a table and clapping your hands and stuff like that. That's cool.
It's still. Uh oh. The music's still playing? It doesn't look like it. Alright, hold on. Ah. Oh, because I've already played it right now. I guess more music posted on Spotify, huh? My back is going to kill me for sitting like this for so long. Oh no. Okay, so I actually did one too many. Alright, I'll let that cool for a minute. Ever heard of Ujam instruments? Uh-uh. Or Ujam? No. It's all Steinberg. It's a. It's all a Steinberg VST company. Who's Steinberg? Why do I know that name? I'm just blanking on it. That's pretty straight. And that's pretty good. Oh, this sucks strong off. This will go simple red and white. Oh, I need a little cup of uh, water or brushes. I'll be back in a second. Hold on. Okay, so the way I think I'm gonna do this is maybe I can use one of these pencils to rough out the shape. I'm gonna go top of the button. Thank you. 
four, you got something like that. Then bottom. something kind of like that and then I'll just put a little play sign on it this will all be red that's maybe I should just this area with white pop this in here way I can just paint the red and the white areas just give me that all over here Something like that. There we go. It ain't perfect, but it's mine. <sighs> okay. All right, and unplug the hot glue gun. Dry paint in there. And help us more, there is a great fear and respect for the ancient creatures known as the Fae. While there are many kind and goodwill Fae in Tokador, known as the members of the Spirit Folk, there are also their darker and crueler brethren. Oh, be careful, else I'm gonna get red all over. They don't want it. Play button all find out. Oh! We're good. Oh yeah, we're getting there. We're getting there. Oh boy. A little bit here. Doing this.
looks be good. Now it's just. Uh, recently bought. There's a new beat maker VST called Nemesis, and it's only 49 bucks. It's all cyberpunk stuff. Nice. Nian Duck Lion Buck, what's up? How's it going? Getting down to finally painting in this play button. That's exciting. Oh, I can just now block in all the red. And do the white. I'm done. This has been actually really fun. I've enjoyed doing this a lot. Oh, I may need to clear the end of this. I'm gonna need a buttload. Okay. Um, do I have like a needle or anything around here? Hmm. I'm gonna have to go borrow something from the craft room. Become a part of something bigger than yourself. By yeah, okay, hold on. Online with Oregon State University eCampus. With in demand programs like computer science and business, you can add skills. Thumbtack? I don't have thumbtacks in here. Impact. Learn more at ecampus.oregonstate.edu. Ugh, so what do I get for not cleaning stuff up very well? I don't know where anything is. Alright, one second, sorry guys. Okay, I grabbed one of Mary's little needles. So, here we go. Clear this out. There we go. I don't have any bigger brushes. <laughs> I mean, I could go bother Ruby for a brush. She paints. Like actually paint. I think this is fine. You could have like a gold fake cover over it so it looks like it's for real. Like a gold cover on it? What do you mean?
It is supposed to look like it's, you know, made out of pencils and stuff. The idea of it being graphite. Not playing. Oh yeah, it is. Oh, it's an ad. Oh, a little timer on the bottom isn't going. Music. side of this anyway. I mean this is a crude job though. Don't want it. I want there to be a big glob of paint outside of this. Color gold. What color the rest gold like this? I think I'm gonna stick with just this red and then the white on the play button. some glue in the back in a couple places along the edges to make sure none of this stuff falls off.
What's going on with audio? You inspired me to make my own? Awesome, you should. Absolutely should. This is probably the part that's going to take the most time when I was filling in these little side bits. Oh, this is so cool. Turned out pretty nice too. I like it. I like this a lot. And Mary just made pie. So like, after this, I'm gonna eat some pie. Oh, what a good day. Woke up this morning, did a raid in Final Fantasy XIV. Then made this. Then I'm gonna go eat pie. Like, could it be any better? Okay, what is going on with my desktop audio? Like, why is... Is a song actually... Oh, Shiza. Is a song actually playing? Sorry for that camera kick. This is going to be probably a pretty patchy paint job, but I think that's fine. Then you can kind of see the wood a little bit. Some spots that aren't like as painted. It kind of adds to it. It's fine. I'm not going to be like perfectionist about it. I'm going to get some paint on everything. Edges here by the play button, by the play, or the area where I'll put white paint in. Be a little careful with that. Uh, Excuse me. Oh, yeah. Almost done. Almost done with the red. When you order in or dine outside at a local restaurant, you're not only helping us save what's for dinner, you're really helping us a small business. Order in, help out with the nice. 
that edge. There, there. Ah, sections missed on this side. Spots that kind of give it shape. Alright, so now we need and this. White paint. Being of DIYs, I'm making is my dad an eight string metal guitar casing from my roll up MIDI keyboard. I'm turning it into an eight string MIDI monster. The strap and everything. Plus, no one brought this up, so I thought it's pretty unique. That's cool. I have to, I have to send me a picture when it's done. That sounds cool. You're making a, a guitar case into like a case for your MIDI controller? Is that what it is? That, what it is? that sounds cool. Cool. Now I gotta get all the red paint. These brushes are so destroyed. Get all the red paint out of the brush. Plus it's gonna turn the white pink. That's what I want. Maybe I should just use my other brush. Well, I mean, I should just clean this. I am so bad at taking care of these. These are just wrecked. But I found out I do not enjoy painting minis. So, you know, lesson learned. Okay, I think that's good enough. I don't know if I want to go back and fix the spots in the white and the red that aren't I missed. I'm trying not to be perfectionist about it.
use that. There we go. We have our graphite play button. <laughs> Look at, there we go. I was like, what direction is what? Uh, you are, you'll upload a video of you using it soon. Sweet. Then can you purchase a song I did with me playing heavy metal guitar. It's called Angel of Light. Nice. All right, well, I think we're done. That just needs to um, dry and then be hung on the wall. We got our graphite play button done. This is sick. All right, I'm going to call stream there. That's been almost three hours. So thank you, everybody, for showing up. This has been super fun. Um, it's been nice to just chat for a couple hours while I strip a bunch of pencils of their paint and then glue them together and paint on a YouTube play button. Uh, this will be on the wall there in my videos, in my streams. Uh, find a nice place for it. Uh, yeah, and that'll be it for streams this week, Friday. Look forward to, hopefully, I'll have Little Nightmares 1 and 2 by then. So, Friday's will be for that. And then next Saturday, work on some music or something, maybe some sound design stuff. So, yeah, thank you all for stopping by. Uh, and I will talk to you all later. Have a good rest of your Saturday, guys. Bye-bye.